You're watching America's healthiest TV show, Health Corner, with host Joan London, plus Chef MD Dr. John LaPuma, and fitness with Kathy Smith. Today on Health Corner, Take Your Oxygen First. It's the title of Lisa Gibbons' new book on caregiving, and she's here today to tell us about it. Plus, how close are we to a cure for diabetes? Closer than you may think. Today on Chef MD, I'm making a rich, high protein, savory chicken stew to keep you warm and fill you up. Health Corner is a sponsored program brought to you by Walgreens, the Pharmacy America Trust since 1901. And now from our studio in New York. Hi, I'm Joan London. Welcome to Health Corner. We have an exciting show for you today. She has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but my good friend Lisa Gibbons has a life that's not just about glamour, and she's going to join us later. And over 200,000 people die from diabetes each year. You can manage diabetes, but everyone wants a cure. Is a pancreatic transplant the answer? Here's Lisa Adams with the latest. Some habits are hard to break, and after living with diabetes for more than 40 years, Sandra Alvord can't quite get used to not having to test her blood sugar. I've had a good life, but it's been challenging at the same time. Sandra was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when she was six years old. It's meant a lifetime of testing, shots, watching her diet, and worry. Type 1 can be far more serious um, on a day-to-day -day basis because of the low blood sugars. Sandra had the disease for so long that she no longer could sense when her blood sugar was dangerously low. We would uh, go shopping and I just kind of crumble. She passed out while driving. She had seizures in front of her kids. Her mood swings were hard to take. Scared and tired, Sandra decided to undergo an experimental islet cell transplant. Pancreatic islet cells are the cells that are responsible for making the insulin which humans need to control blood sugar levels. Dr. Oberholzer says in diabetes, the cells simply don't work anymore. In a transplant, doctors take the islet cells from a donated pancreas and insert the cells directly into the liver, where they start producing insulin. Uh, it's a very safe procedure, and most patients will be able to leave the hospital after an overnight stay. The procedure isn't risk-free, and patients have to take anti-rejection medication, which can carry some tough side effects. Sandra's first two islet cell transplants didn't last long, so she underwent a third, and so far she's still insulin free. It's like a miracle. I thank God for every day that I'm not on my insulin pump. There's a freedom that I've, I have now that I've never had before. There is another type of transplant available for patients with type 1 diabetes. Here at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona and at other large hospitals across the country, they are doing pancreas transplants. And if it's successful, those patients live diabetes free. Typically, it is a procedure or a treatment that is offered to patients who have a severe type 1 diabetes, who is disabling. Dr. Mazur says the pancreas transplant is typically done in conjunction with a kidney transplant. But often there are diabetic patients so ill that a new pancreas is their only hope. It's really a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week vigilance. Skip Walstead kept his diabetes vigilance up for years and was in very good control. But he, like Sandra, got to the point where he couldn't sense when his blood sugar was getting low, and the close calls were getting scary. The paramedic said at that time I had maybe five minutes to live. That episode brought Skip to Mayo and Dr. Mazur, where he underwent a technically difficult pancreas transplant. But, says Dr. Mazur, the results can be amazing. Typically, f from uh, the time that um, the pancreas, uh, most of the time, is implanted, uh, people no longer need insulin um, most of the time. The organs started to work uh, perfect from day one. Skip is insulin free, but he hasn't given up medication. He will have to take anti-rejection medication for the rest of his life. But a few pills every day is well worth it to lift the veil of worry diabetes once created. It has been a, a transformation of my life totally. For Health Corner, I'm Elisa Adams. Now these treatments are for people who have type 1 diabetes. For people with type 2, the focus is still on weight loss and exercise and diet. Visit healthcornertv.com and click on In Focus for much more information on diabetes prevention, 
detection and treatment. Okay, if your kids like a good mystery, they might love epidemiology. Our Kids Reporters have some fascinating information on this very interesting career. Hi, girls. Hi, Joan. Have you ever wondered whether it's possible to prevent or even cure a disease? That's where an epidemiologist comes in. Think of them as disease detectives. Today, we have Dr. Jane Kotchin here to help us unravel this mystery. Dr. Kotchin, can you explain to me what an epidemiologist does? An epidemiologist is a scientist that studies diseases in populations. We do that by looking at who gets the disease, where they get the disease, when they get the disease, and then perhaps we can determine how they get the disease. When investigating a disease, some epidemiologists work in the field asking those who are sick all about their lifestyles, habits, diets, and what they may have been exposed to. Others work in a lab using computers to analyze data, examine statistics, and calculate disease rates. We can also teach people how to prevent diseases on their own. Colds and flu are just some diseases that we can all help to prevent. We can do this by making sure we wash our hands, cough in the crook of our arm, and not our hands, and getting the flu shot. These simple things can definitely make a difference when you're trying to avoid getting sick. For Gull Green, I'm Gabby Powell. And I'm Michaela Powell. Back to you, Joan. Thanks, girls. Around the world, people celebrate holidays with special traditions and festivities. Here's our parenting expert, Jill Rep, with some fun ideas to help your children appreciate diversity. Kids are naturally curious about children of other cultures, so why not help your child develop an appreciation for others with a lesson in ethnic traditions around the world? Invite your child to participate as a guest in activities or customs of other cultures. Read books about lifestyles that are different than your own. Make recipes significant to other countries' culinary traditions. Create crafts or decorations used in the celebrations from our multicultured world. Play games from other countries. Ask your child if they seem familiar or different to them. And explore some of the amazing cultural festivities in your own community. Remember to encourage your child to share their feelings about cultures you explore and make sure that differences in how families celebrate cultural holidays are respected. By learning about and respecting customs from other cultures, you'll broaden your child's awareness of traditions and values cherished by people around the world. For Health Corner, I'm Jill Rupp. Take Your Oxygen First. That's the name of Lisa Gibbons' new book about caregiving, and Lisa has lived it, and now she's sharing it with us. So stick around. Carefree introduces protection times 10. New Carefree Ultra Protection Liners with wings. Absorb 10 times more like a pad, but feel thin and comfy like a liner. New Carefree Ultra Protection. Breakouts? They're bad enough. Then redness can make skin look even worse. New Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash Redness Soothing reduces redness, while Maximum Strength Medicine treats breakouts. Breakouts cleared, redness calm. Oil-Free Acne Wash Redness Soothing. Neutrogena. Time brings new wisdom, new aches and pains, and new questions about which pain reliever is right for your body. Tylenol 8-Hour works with your body, with one layer that dissolves quickly, one layer that lasts all day, and no layers that irritate your stomach the way that ibuprofen can. It's tough on your body pain, not on your body. I'm Walgreens CEO, and I'm also a pharmacist. Getting an early flu shot is the best thing you can do to protect you and your loved ones from the flu. It's also one of the easiest things you can do because Walgreens is now offering seasonal flu shots every day of the week with convenient hours guaranteed. So you can just stop in. Our 16,000 dedicated pharmacists and take care clinic nurse practitioners are waiting to help you beat the flu in neighborhoods nationwide. At Walgreens, we want you to know there's a way to stay well. Welcome back to Health Corner. I'm Joan London. It's getting to be that comfort and joy time of year. And what's more comforting than a cup of hot chocolate? Hey, Dr. John, is there a way to make it a little healthier? You bet, Joan. Cute mug, by the way. Cocoa is naturally healthy. It's loaded with antioxidants that lower blood pressure. The way to make it especially healthy is to look for dark chocolate. That's 70% or more. 
and use cocoa powder that doesn't have extra milk and sugar added, but is just the dark chocolate. If you want a little sweet, use some agave syrup. It brightens it right up with a dash of cinnamon and a dash of nutmeg. See you later, Joan. What do you need to make a dish fit for a king? Cauliflower. Cauliflower is a low glycemic index vegetable, raising your blood sugar slowly and gently. It's loaded with vitamin C, which can help you grow and repair tissues. And it's a great source of fiber. Maybe that's why King Louis XIV was able to rule France for 72 years. He absolutely loved cauliflower. A coincidence? I don't think so. Cauliflower is royal in so many other ways. It's part of the cruciferous family of vegetables, known to lower your risk of cancer. It's good for my savory, chef and approved melted butter bean, cauliflower, chicken, thyme, and Tabasco stew, featuring our food as medicine ingredient, cauliflower. Sounds great, John. Do you get Dr. John's recipes each week from the show? Just visit healthcornertv.com and sign up. All right, take your oxygen first. It's a great expression. You've heard it when you get on a flight. Well, it is the title of Lisa Gibbons' new book, and she's helping all caregivers get through some very tough times with their loved ones by taking care of themselves first. Here's our good friend, Lisa. Take your oxygen first is what they tell you on an airplane. And every mother goes, oh, no, 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 I'm going to help my kids. It's counterintuitive. But if you don't nourish yourself, mind, body, soul, and spirit, you have nothing to give your loved one that needs so much from you. This is what caregivers really need to hear most. These are my fabulous co-authors, Dr. Jamie Heisman, Dr. Rosemary Laird, and the three of us wrote this book from the perspective of a family member, the psychological point of view, and the medical point of view. We wrote the book so that you can make some sense of the chaos that is now your life. I am so grateful that my mother gave me so many things, and in the end, I never thought I would be able to say I was grateful for her disease. Mom was diagnosed early with Alzheimer's disease, and she struggled with the disease for a decade. So by the time she died, we really had become experts on her experience and our family's response to it. We really wanted to share what we knew, and we wanted to offer a lifeline. I'm so proud of my dad and my brother and my sister and all of our children who contribute to Take Your Oxygen First. Everybody has a story, everybody has something to offer. My little reminder was always, take your TLC. The T for being tough enough to ask for help. It's a sign of personal strength to know that you cannot have all the answers yourself. The L is for being loving enough to know that you can't do everything that you, you are just a finite source of energy. And the C is to be compassionate enough to forgive yourself and to forgive others when things don't go well. Some great advice, and this book has a lot more. Thanks so much to Lisa. And a little bit later, we are going to tell you more about Lisa Gibbons' Memory Foundation and Lisa's Place, so stay with us. This portion of Health Corner is brought to you by the makers of Carefree Liners. Feel fresh, feel carefree. So your kids are coughing up a storm, and if they're old enough, you know that cough medicine may help. But honey is also an age-old remedy. Does it really work? And is it okay to give to your children? Let's find out from our Walgreens pharmacist, Helen Jung. Hi, Joan. Researchers have found when your kids are coughing, you should reach for honey. It was found to be more effective for soothing coughs than dextromethorphan, the active ingredient in most cough medicines. But there's one important thing everyone needs to know. Honey may contain some bacteria that could cause botulism in infants. So never give honey to infants 12 months of age or younger. All right, thank you for that warning, Helen. So important. Also, is one kind of honey better than another? Well, the study was done with buckwheat honey. It's always better and more nutritious to go with dark honey versus lighter honey. Other research suggests that honey also has antioxidant and antifungal properties. All in all, it's really good for you. 
and it's a sweet treat. We'll definitely go for the honey the next time a cough hits my household. Thanks for being with us today, Helen. You're welcome, Joan. This portion of Health Corner is brought to you by Benadryl Allergy. It works when you need it most. Benadryl, you can't pause life. Here's our fitness guru, Kathy Smith, with an exercise program perfect for people who have diabetes. I recently met Cheryl Duncan. Cheryl developed type 2 diabetes five years ago and was struggling to get her weight and blood sugar under control. She was also struggling to get rid of some of her bad habits. Every morning I'd stop and get a donut. Sugar and caffeine. Mm -hmm. Cheryl just needed a place to start. So I introduced her to a program I've created with the American Diabetes Association called Project U Type 2. We started out slow, getting her to do some moderate aerobic exercise. So I want you to do 30 minutes of cardio three to four times a week. I also showed her some simple weightlifting exercises in order to start building muscle. We want to make sure that you maintain and you put on some muscle mass. And the reason being is muscle burns more calories than fat. I also wanted Cheryl to follow a nutrition guide and keep a journal of the food she eats, emphasizing protein, good carbs, and lots of fruits and vegetables, and small, frequent meals. Believe it or not, this might sound funny, but I want you probably to be eating more often than you're eating now. After eight weeks, we checked back with Cheryl and found out her weight was down and her blood sugar more stable. And the best part, she feels better and is on her way to living a healthier life. For Health Corner, I'm Kathy Smith. Looking for the secret to losing weight and keeping it off? Find out how at kathysmith.com. A lovely day. What are you going to miss when you have an allergy attack? Benadryl is more effective than Claritin at relieving your worst symptoms and works when you need it most. Benadryl, you can't pause life. Hey, Mom, can I have a turkey sandwich? Coming right up. There's an easier way to get that fresh from the deli taste at home. All you need are Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh Meats. Shaved thin, packed fresh for that unmistakable deli fresh taste your family loves. Can I get a ham sandwich? Sliced, packed, and sealed at the peak of freshness. Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh. For the love of a great sandwich. Bicycle, what are we waiting for? The flowers are blooming, the air is sweet, and Zyrtec starts relieving my allergies two hours faster than Claritin. My worst symptoms feel better, indoors and outdoors. With Zyrtec, the fastest 24-hour allergy medicine, I promise not to wait as long to go for a ride. Zyrtec works fast, so I can love the air. When I was 17, summer days were not good to my skin. New Neutrogena Total Skin Renewal. It's clinically tested to help undo the look of a year's worth of skin aging in just one week. Do-overs do exist. Total Skin Renewal. Neutrogena. Health correspondent Sarah Welch recently caught up with fitness expert Denise Austin, who found a unique way to get people moving. Joan, we're here at the beautiful Lansdowne Resort in Leesburg, Virginia, where two lucky women won a contest sponsored by Nature Made and Walgreens. The grand prize includes a personalized workout with famed fitness guru Denise Austin. They're about to meet for the very first time. Let's go check it out. Oh, Hi. Hi, Denise. You won. How are you? For Leslie and Jan, it's the moment they've been waiting for a one on one workout with Denise Austin. But before they get moving, they're off to start their day with the right food to fuel their bodies. Fruit juice, an omelet with veggies. And Denise never forgets her vitamins. Vitamins are my insurance because I work full time, I'm a mom, I'm always on the go, I can't eat perfectly every day. So I take vitamins so I make sure I'm getting all the nutrients my body needs. After breakfast, it's poolside for some target toning. Okay, let's come down to the mat. We're going to begin some sit-up exercises to work those tummies. For Leslie and Jan, even the simplest moves can be challenging. Both suffer from RSD, or reflex sympathetic dystrophy, a disease of the nervous system that causes chronic pain in parts of the body. Denise was very, very good with us. She walked us through it and showed us that even the most 
disabled person can still do some type of exercise and work out. I feel like I have more energy. Um, I feel stronger. Just because you don't feel good doesn't mean you can't push yourself to do something. The message is that anyone can exercise, no matter what type of issues you have, what type of disease. You have to move to feel better, to have the energy, to get through the day with zest and to love life. And that's what it's all about. And just a few minutes of exercise a day can make a big difference. It certainly has for Janet and Leslie. I feel invigorated. I feel real strong. I feel that I can go out and conquer the world now. And I think that I have a partner with Denise now, too. For Health Corner, I'm Sarah Welch. Thanks, Denise Austin. That must have been a lot of fun. Now, a little earlier in our program, we heard Lisa Gibbons' personal story about caring for her mom when she had Alzheimer's. And that experience inspired Lisa to create a foundation. Lisa's place is full of memory making. Lisa's place is a place for caregivers. Whether you've got a mom with dementia, a spouse with cancer, a child with autism, you are caring for a loved one, and that's a huge job. Lisa's Place was designed to offer you resources, coaching, connections on how you can navigate through that health crisis. A five-year-old and an 85-year-old can sit side by side and put pictures together and share feelings. We do memory television at Lisa's Place, which is really encouraging families to tell the story of their lives on camera. Whether you have a Lisa's Place in your community or not, you can go to lisasplace.org and take a depression screening, which is important for caregivers because most caregivers are depressed, and you can take a memory screening for yourself or for your loved one. And you can do this anonymously if you wish. It's not a diagnosis, but what it gives you is a great tool, a snapshot of where you are now, something you can print out talk to your family members about it, take it to your doctor as a beginning point for a conversation that may lead you to a diagnosis. All of our services at Lisa's Place are free of charge. All the support, all the education, all the resources are offered free. We created what we wish we'd had when my mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. A place to be safe, a place to be recognized, a place to really let your guard down and breathe, knowing that in the very next breath, you will be enriched, you will be educated, you will be empowered, and you'll be supported. Lisa, thank you on behalf of all caregivers. There are eight Lisa Place locations all across the country, and all of them are a great source of strength and information. Check our website to learn more. Your whole family will feel warm and cozy when you serve my chicken stew full of butter beans and a secret veggie. Does anybody have an SUV? You're getting a ticket. How to get your coffee in five minutes. How to fight cancer in five minutes. Just log on to cancer.org slash great Americans and answer a few questions. You'll get the information you need to help reduce your cancer risk. This is the American Cancer Society. Hi. Number two, please. Would you like that to hurt now or later? Uh, what? Sir, it's a simple question. Do you want heartburn pain now or later? These heartburn medicines make you choose between hurting now or later. Pepsin Complete doesn't. It starts to neutralize acid in seconds and keeps it under control all day or all night. Sometimes you gotta make compromises, man. No, you don't, man. Pepsin Complete works now and works later. Now with a great new taste. Wave hello to softer skin. New Neutrogena Wave Duo. It cleans at two speeds. I've used a lot of cleansers, but I've never tried anything like the Wave. Speed 1 gently cleans for when skin needs a kinder, gentler clean. Speed 2 cleans pore deep, 10 times deeper than traditional cleansing. Skin looks noticeably softer in just one use. And it's really cool because it does all the work for me. New Neutrogena Wave Duo. Go to NeutrogenaWave.com now for $3 off on the new Wave Duo. Today, I'm making a healthy, warm, savory, one-pot meal 
perfect for fall and winter nights and even better the next day if there's any left. A melted butter bean cauliflower and chicken stew with thyme and Tabasco. It starts with some boneless chicken thighs. We're gonna saute these to begin. Add a little bit of extra light olive oil. Pan is already hot. And then just add your chicken. I prefer using antibiotic free chicken. It takes about three minutes to saute the chicken until there's no more pink. Most chicken stews, by the way, are two to one chicken to vegetables, but mine is flipped about one to two chicken to vegetables, but still loaded with flavor and plenty of protein. Add some chipotle hot pepper sauce to spice up the dish. It adds flavor without adding calories. Now, the chicken is going to saute and get some good flavor with it, and then we're gonna add some yellow onion. The onion's going to help deglaze the pan and bring up those flavorful bits from the bottom. I'm gonna add two cups of broth and tomatoes. These are organic fire-roasted tomatoes that I've added with their juice. And the oil in the bottom of the pan helps you absorb the lycopene from the tomatoes. Now our food is medicine ingredient, cauliflower. Most people don't know that cauliflower comes in colors. You get different antioxidants with the purple cauliflower, the grape cauliflower, than you do with the white. But they're all good for you, all low carbohydrate, all low glycemic index, and all high in fiber and vitamin C. Now go the rest of our ingredients, butter beans, cauliflower, and then finally, a little bit of fresh thyme right on top. You can also use it as a garnish. Let that chicken stew cook down. I've already done one that is completely cooked. It's only gonna take 20 or 25 minutes for those flavors to all come together. Let me show you how it ladles out. That's it. Melted butter bean, chicken, and cauliflower stew. You couldn't ask for a more filling dish. For the complete recipe, check out our website. And remember, the fountain of youth starts in the kitchen. Chatani, may you live 100 years. For Chef MD, I'm Dr. John LaPuma. Learn more about culinary medicine today. Order Chef MD's Big Book of Culinary Medicine at chefmd.com and sign up for free weekly recipe emails while you're there. That's our show for today. Make sure you check out our website for more health information you can use. And join us next week on Health Corner, America's healthiest TV show. I'm Joan London. Take care. Next week on Health Corner. New research shows a genetic link to autism. Plus, she wrote the book Queen Bees and Wannabes, and it was the basis for the hit movie M Girls. Rosalind Wiseman joins us with the newest information on bullying and its devastating effects. We're reeling in a true life preserver, omega-3s, with a light, delicious poached trout. Health Corner is a sponsored program brought to you by Walgreens.